DTC Configuration Tool. To install the DTC Configuration Tool, go to opwglobal.com, click Tech Support tab at the top, then Fuel Management Systems. Click Software on the left, then search for the DTC Configuration Tool. Download it and run the installer. Click Next. Make sure you check Install This Program for Everyone. Click through the installer and finish the installation. This process has been sped up in the video. Before loading the DTC configuration tool, you need to find out your COM port. So open the Device Manager, go to Ports, and find out where your USB serial port is. Here it is listed as COM4, so we'll use that. To configure the DTC, you must use a USB serial adapter with a 20-1520-07 serial adapter cable and an RJ45 cable running from your computer to the RJ45 port on the bottom left of the DTC. Now we will open the DTC configuration tool. We need to log into the DTC to configure a brand new setup. It's a good idea to power cycle the DTC. At the top of the board, unplug the power, wait a few seconds, and plug it back in. Now open the DTC configuration tool by clicking its icon on the desktop. Connection settings for our setup is as follows. The port is COM4, the baud rate is 9600, parity none, data bits 8, and stop bits 1. Now hit save. Now click on the configuration selection button. We can see some old configurations that were pulled from the DTC, but we want to make a new one. So we click new. Then select the new configuration at the bottom and click edit. On the left we want to add a controller, so click add. Our terminal ID is 1 and our type is cat for Wayne pump. If you're using a Gilbarco pump, select crind. The port that the terminal is connected to on the DTC board is COM6. Baud rate 9600, parity none, data bits 8, stop bits 1. Now it's time to add a terminal. Select a new terminal and click Edit. Our FID ID is 1, pump terminal ID is 1. The FID ID is an address that the FSC3000 uses, and the pump terminal ID is an address that is set up on the terminal at the pump. Now we want to edit our key map, so click Edit under the picture of the keypad. To map the keypad, click on the keys on the left, and then click their location on the keypad on the right. It's a good idea to map cancel keys to no and enter keys to yes to avoid any confusion. Now save the configuration and save the terminal configuration, add additional terminals if necessary, and follow the same routine. The video is sped up here for your convenience. Now save the entire configuration. Click OK to exit the configuration screen. Now the configuration has not been uploaded yet. It is stored on the software on your computer. Click Send Configuration and Keyboards. Once you get the successful notice, we want to make sure that our configuration is saved in the DTC. Click Get Configuration and Keyboards to get the configuration from the DTC. Once that finishes, click the Configuration Select button to check that the configuration is correct. Now you would configure the DTC in the FSC 3000.